Hi guys, it's Kim and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here today to update you on part two of our trying to conceive journey after our miscarriage. So today is cycle day 51. Um, and I think the video where we left off previously, I was on cycle day 43 and I decided to give it a bit of a break from recording what was happening every day because it was just getting a bit much emotionally to deal with. Um, and I also mentioned at the end of that video that I had ordered a Nero fertility tracker. Um, so that has arrived. It arrived two days ago. And uh, yesterday I tested with it and <laughs> Mira told me that I was going to be ovulating um, within the next few days and I was like yeah yeah okay <laughs> we'll see what happens um because you know I've had flashing smiley faces on and off um pretty much this whole cycle <laughs> um so I took one of the little cheapy strips and um yesterday and this was the result that I got um so I'm pretty sure you can see that, but that is a pretty darn dark result. So the test line is not quite as dark as the control line, but that got me like really excited because um, everything else that I had seen had been like a really faint line. Um, and then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do my mirror testing. Um, and that came up with the fact I had an LH reading of, I think it was like 10.3 and indicated that I should ovulate um, within three days. So that was yesterday, um, and that was Tuesday, and it was telling me I was gonna ovulate on Friday. So I was like, mm, okay, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to take a clear blue digital um, test as well. And look, I finally got my static smiley face. So this was on day 50 that I got this. Um, and today is day 51. So this morning I tested again and according to Mira, I have got like a really, really high um, LH level of 49. And it's basically saying that today is my ovulation day. <laughs> um, so yeah, after waiting for so, so long, I'm just super happy and excited that something is happening because I had honestly thought that I was just not going to ovulate this cycle. Um, but obviously I was wrong. Um, and uh, Mira is telling me to test again later tonight between 6 and 10 p.m. So I will do that um, and I will be testing my LH, my um, estrogen and my progesterone. So I will be doing all those three things and seeing what happens. Um, but I also then went and did a, another clear blue digital separate test today just to see. And I got another peak again today. So that's two peaks <laughs> um, from yesterday and one from today. And yeah, my line on the cheap strips seems to be getting darker. And I will do another cheap strip test this evening um to hopefully confirm that i'm actually gonna ovulate um so yeah this is the mirror test here you can see down the bottom it gives you my lh reading it gives you my estrogen reading so yes i'll also put in a little um screen recording of the app so you can see what the results look like and how it charts um, as well as the readings for my progesterone and whatnot for the past couple of days. But yes, so day 51 and it's happening. <laughs> so super, super excited. Um, because I had kind of come to the conclusion that it wasn't going to happen, we are heading away in a few days um, for five nights to Melbourne and I was getting really excited thinking like cool I'm gonna have some cocktails I'm gonna like chill out and whatnot but now while we're away that's potentially gonna be during my two-week wait period so I won't be drinking so bring me all the mocktails <laughs> um but yes anyway um, I will keep you updated and let you know 
what results I get from later tonight as well as um, what my charts do leading into tomorrow and yeah I'll keep you posted but yeah just really really excited and I'm so happy to be able to be making this video right now this month well not this month this cycle because I honestly did not think it was gonna happen all right I'll talk to you soon okay so I have actually tested three times today so after the first time I tested I um, just filmed that last part of the video and still on day 51 and um, I've got some results here to let you know about so okay are we ready all right so this morning at 5 40 a.m i tested my progesterone and i was measuring at 3.6 and then i tested it again um, at 5 38 this evening and it came up at 3.7 so it slightly increased by one. And then Mira recommended that I test it again tonight between 6 and um, 10 p.m. And at 9, what did I do? At 9.0, no, 9.20, my um, progesterone reading was at 6.2. Now, from what I've read on the Mira website, a reading of above five confirms that ovulation has happened so super super exciting um and then i'm gonna sh um, let you know what my lh levels were at each of the three readings and i'm also going to insert a chart so you can see like the jump um, of all the readings throughout the day so my lh at 1147 because i used my second morning urine for that one um, it was at 49.3 and then my one that I took at 538 was at 58.6 and then the one I've just taken which was at 902 was at 127.3 like blew the roof off <laughs> um and then for my estrogen at 11.47, my first one, I was at 257.7. And then my second one at 5.38, I was at 324.1. And then the one that I just took, which was the 902 one, it was at 341.9. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm still like, in shock that it's actually happened like I said it before but I'll say it again I had completely wiped this cycle off like I did not think it was going to happen um and then I got this crazy crazy good um look at that like the test line is so much darker than the control line it is and it came up instantly so yes, very, very happy, very, very excited. Um, and I guess tomorrow makes one DPO and yeah, the two week wait begins. Oh, I still can't believe I'm sitting here saying that. I thought I was just sitting around waiting for my period. But no, good things happen to people and good things happen to me. <laughs> and I'm just super, super excited and I cannot wait to now go away for our trip to Melbourne and just relax and soak it all in and take it in and it's going to be a, such a great distraction um, during the two-week wait so by the time we get back and finish our holidays I think we'll be at about 10 DPO um, so yeah it's going to make that time go a little bit faster and it's going to keep my mind off it because we're just going to be out and about having an amazing time because this trip that we're going on was actually supposed to be our baby moon that we had booked um, before the miscarriage. So yes, I'll keep you updated, um, but yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so that is it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell. And that way you'll get notified of my videos in the future. And stay tuned for my two week wait and did we actually fall pregnant video. Um, because yeah, that'll be hopefully fun to watch. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I have some exciting news for you, but if not, you know, I'll uh, keep making these videos and I'm um, tracking our journey with you. So until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.